Welcome back and today is Vlogtober day 7 so uh, it's been tomorrow it will have been a week since we've started and uh, today I decided to go all pink candy girl for you guys because I'm going to do what I mentioned yesterday the European tries American candy I bought the American candy from Miss Ellen's in Malta and she wrote this Cute day deliver and she wrote this thank you for choosing us choosing to shop with us Claire enjoy your treats and stay safe how sweet is that so I got some candies which I haven't really ever tried there is one thing that I've tried that I haven't tried the exact flavor that I got which is the pop tarts because I used to watch Gilmore Girls and for breakfast they'd always have pop tarts and I wanted pop tarts so <laughs> So please do like and subscribe to watch the rest of my Vlogtober series and I'm just gonna get started to see which sweet treats I pick up first. Okay, so let's see. Now the thing is, I was excited to try this but I'm not really a candy person. I mean, I'm not going to hide that I love food. I mean, you can all tell that I love food, but I'm not usually a candy person. So I'm just going to have a taste of these and then leave them kind of for the rest of the family to have in the next few days. But uh, let's see what comes out first. I'm seeing, I'm looking at the Pop-Tarts here and I just want, no, not Kiwi first. Okay, so let's go with something sour. Now, I'm really not looking forward to the sour stuff because I'm really bad with sour stuff, but my kids have tried the Sour Patch Kids when we were in England and they said they're good, when we're in America, sorry, and they said they're good, so let me try tasting one of these and see how, how good or how sour it is. This is watermelon flavor, so that gives me some hope. I really love watermelon, so hopefully I will like it. Let's see. It's good. This isn't super sour. Mm. This is sour than sweet. 210 calories per bag. I mean, I could see me like having wasting my 210 calories on this because it is good. Because it's just a little bit sour on the outside, but then it's sweet. In fact, there's written here sour than sweet. I just have no clear. Pace yourself. So. Sour Patch Kids, when I give them a solid 9 out of 10, they're really good. Yeah, I like them. Let's see what's next. Okay, so the next, I have my phone next to me. <laughs> the next thing is, I'm not gonna look this time, so I just pick up a random thing. Nutter Butter, the Peanut Butter Lover's Cookie. I like cookies. I'm not really into sweets, but I do like biscuits and stuff like that. This is 260 calories per pack. Let's just try these. Oh, the, the smell of peanut butter really hits you <laughs> when you open the, the bag. And they're shaped like peanuts. This is, this is super cute. Let's, let's taste this. It's good. It's good. It reminds me of these this packet we had in Malt. It wasn't cookies. It was a. Uh, it was called Chimpies. It was called, and it had a peanut flavor. And it reminds me a bit of the, that. But probably not something I'd buy again because I'm not really, really into peanut butter. I had this peanut butter phase where everything I ate had peanut butter in it, like chicken satay and stuff like that, and cookies, and I don't know what else. But then I kind of just got over it a bit. So. I'm not sure. I'd, it depends if I get into that phase again. 
But I give these, um, I mean, they deserve an 8 out of 10, even maybe even a 9 out of 10. But for my personal preference, I'd give them an 8 out of 10. And let's see what's next. So, the next thing, okay, I'm looking automatically, you know, you look as you, oh, there's something in a bag. Oh, candy corn. I've never had candy corn. I think the only candy corn they had was caramel candy corn. And I hear so much about it in Halloween um, uh, movies and series. And every time Halloween is mentioned, kids get candy corn and stuff like that. So I wanted to try it. Not sure if it's as authentic since it's the caramel one, but it's candy corn. <laughs> Let's see. Doo -doo. I have no clue how it's supposed to taste or like the consistency or texture of it or anything like that. Let's see. Okay, I mean. It's a strange consistency, I don't know what I would compare to. It's good, the caramel taste, especially this one is really good. And it's a really weird consistency because I've never had candy corn probably. That's why I know it's a bit strange for me, but uh, I like them. I wouldn't have a lot of them because they're super, super sweet, but they're okay. I'd give them a seven out of 10. Again, I'm not into super sweet stuff. Maybe that's the reason, but yeah, a seven out of 10 is fair for this one, I think. <laughs> Let's move on. So the next thing I'm going to try is the... Mm -hmm. You try not to check, you know, but automatically you check. I need to toast these, right? So let's leave these on the side so I remember to toast them. Let's just do another few items first. I bought way too much stuff. That's why I'm only taking small bites. My knives. I have heard about these on TV, but never had Mike and Ike's. What are they? I'm not even sure. Let's see. I did this. They look like jelly beans. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -mm. The initial taste was good, but I don't like kind of the the aftertaste of it. No, not for me. I was really excited to try these too because I heard about them a lot, but uh, they sort of have a like medicine aftertaste. <laughs> My son is at the back there and he's like, what are you saying? Mom? But no, these aren't for me. I give these a six out of 10. I might, it might seem I'm being a bit harsh with my numbers because they are sweets and everyone likes sweets, but eh. <laughs> I want something I really like. Oh, let me try the Laffy Taffy because it's cherry flavored and I love cherry. Let's try that one. Okay, that's the one I'm going to try next. Okay, so we have the Laffy Taffy in a cherry flavor. Again, Laffy Taffy is <laughs> really what the heck is this? Is it supposed to be like this? What? what? <laughs> I've never had Laffy Taffy, I don't know. What, what, how do you even remove the packaging from this one? <laughs> what the heck is going on? <laughs> no clue, I have no... I'm just gonna remove a piece of it and just try that. Ugh. It's way too sticky though, let me see. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is good. It tastes a bit like Mawam, the ones we have. Like, uh, tastes very similar to that, but it's way too sticky. I'm not sure if it's because of the heat or anything, but um, how about it's still on the wrapper, so I'm just sticking to my teeth. <laughs> Let's see what's next. <laughs> okay, so 
I have this TGI Friday potato skin snack, but the last thing I had was so sweet that I don't think it's good to have this because I won't even be tasting any of it. Let's leave it to go with the pop tart. Three, two. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, the wig made me sneeze. Okay, so let's see. All right, we have the Hostess Donets. Okay, I'll try those. Let's see what these are. Very decent taste. They're quite they they they're good in the sense they're they taste donutty. Let's say that <laughs> they taste a bit like a dry donut and way too much powder for me. But they're good. I mean, no complaints here. I just wouldn't have. Not even gonna have the one. I'm just gonna put it on the side with the rest of the nutter butter. <laughs> And let's see what's next. Oh, I sorry, I forgot to rate this one. This, hmm, I give this one moment. The car is passing by, and it's gonna be a bit loud, probably. Hmm. So I give this a seven out of ten. Not great, not bad. Seven out of ten, a solid seven. <laughs> let's see what's next. I'm just gonna get it over with. I, I, I'm just gonna get it over it. I, I, <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna do it. I, this is one that my kids insisted upon. I don't even know how to open this. Do you have scissors or something? Um, my son insisted that I try this one. <laughs> and I got the green sour candy flavor, thank you. And, uh, well, <laughs> I'm really bad at this stuff. What does it say? Warning, choking hazard. Is it because it's so sour? Or is it because... No, it's for, not, a, not for children. Okay. okay. Consuming more than one piece at a time may cause irritation to the mouth. Sensitive individuals should not consume the product. I'm rethinking this, but I said I'd do it, so... I'm gonna do it, I guess. Okay, I'll take the green apple flavor. And let's see. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> oh, it's a hard candy, okay. Hmm. Let me tissue. Mm. I'm sorry. Sorry for the sound effects. Oh my god, I have tears coming down my eyes right now. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Ugh, why do people pay to buy that? Oh my god. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. No, that's definitely not for me. <sighs> when I used to teach last year, I had uh, a student bring these in without me noticing the first day, not without me, without anyone noticing. And I see some students making a really weird face during class and apparently had given this to them in the break. And they were having it just before the classroom. Okay, now I get it. Now I understand why. My god, I feel like I'm sweating now. This was so bad. No, definitely, definitely not for me. I give this a zero. Why would you make this out of ten? No, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so next we have the Tango Jelly Beans. I never tried these either. Oh, they have lemon, orange, cherry and apple. Okay, I'll try and find the cherry one because I really like cherries. Mm 
I don't know if my tongue is still numb from the previous candy, but I don't really taste cherry. Let me try another one. Ugh, sorry. I don't know who I apologize to, but <laughs> let me try this one and see. Hmm. Not bad, not uh, great either, but uh, there's an apple one. I'll try an apple one. Maybe it has a bit more of a taste. All I taste is sugar, to be honest. I, it's not bad, it's good, but it, all I taste is sugar. This is going to have to be another 7 out of 10. Let's see what's next. Alright, so we're getting closer to the end. I think I have Nerds, Airheads, Millions, and Warheads. Now, my son said this is just as bad as the as the toxic waste so we'll see what this does oh he says it's even worse than the toxic waste Leon we'll see we'll see okay so let's start should I I'm gonna just get the warheads over with I'm really not looking forward to this after the last one do I have a tissue nearby give me a tissue please was the other one really it was really difficult to get through and so thank you. So let's see if this one. I took the blue raspberry one this time. Maybe it's a bit less than the green one. I don't know. <laughs> let's see. Hmm. So far. So far it's um it's okay. I mean, it's sour. Okay. Nothing more. So, hmm. Okay. Okay, so it, it's a bit sour. I don't know if it gets even worse than this later on, but, um, hmm. No. Definitely better than the. This is actually something I would eat, probably. I would have. Whereas this one was definitely a no-no for me. I'm not gonna have the rest of this anyway, but um, oh, yeah, this is good. This is a good one. Okay, so let's move on to the rest and we'll see. Hmm, I'll try the airhead next. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the airhead orange, artificially flavored though. I'm not really an orange kind of person. I don't really like orange flavors, but uh, it was the only flavor they had left because American candy really sells out quickly here in Malta because we don't have a lot of places that sell it. So I'll just see what I think of the orange one. Not amazing. I think it's the flavor though that's um, kind of not my style because the texture is quite good. I think if it had been a different flavor, like a watermelon maybe, or a green apple or cherry one, it would have been perfect. So I'm not going to rate it too low because I think it's the flavor that I chose that was iffy. So I'm going to give it an 8 because I think had it been a different flavor, I would have liked it. And let's move on. We have one, two, three, four items left to try. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to try the nerds now. I have no clue how they're even... Okay, left to open. Follow instructions, Claire. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. One moment. There were too many. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so are you just supposed to kind of drop them in your mouth, Leon? Is that what you're supposed to just um, plop them and just release? Mmm, 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 yeah, yeah, 
Oh my gosh, there's 60 calories per tablespoon though. I think I have about a teaspoon here. What? Mmm. Bunch fell in my... Okay. They're good. I like these. Win. Win, win. I'm still gonna give them to the kids because they're still a bit too much for me. My son is doing like... Yay. <laughs> I do the camera. <laughs> yeah, so... Let's see the minions, millions, the minions, millions now. All right, so I'm gonna try the millions one. Similar to the airhead I just tried. The issue with this is that it's banana flavored. And again, it was the only flavor they had and I really don't like banana flavored. So let's see how they taste. It says that the tiny taste of, the tiny tasty chewy sweets. <laughs> So I'm guessing that at least I know they're going to be chewy. I don't know how chewy. Mmm. 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 I like these. Even though they're banana flavored. I'd rather them not have them banana flavored, but they remind me of this mixture my grandma used to put with my milk sensation. And um, it was banana flavored and it was so good. I need to buy it next time I'm at the shop because it was really tasty. But uh, yeah, they remind me of that. They're really good. And I would give these... I'd give these a 9 out of 10 because the flavor is just spot on. I really like so it. So I'm finally going to try out my favorite thing, the Pop-Tart. Because I had to kind of warm it up a bit. Go get your dad his Pop-Tart as well. You just took yours and eating it back there. <laughs> from Leon's face behind the screen. It seems like it's pretty good. So let's see if it's as good as I think it's going to be. I got the chocolate chip with frosting. What, chocolate chip cookie something? Let's try. Mm -hmm. I just love, I love them. I love them. I literally, like my feet started kicking like a, like a little kid on the first bite. Mm. 10, definitely. Definitely a 10 for me. Mm. Mm. So good. I'm just going to have this I'm going to have. I'm going to have, I have to have it. I have to have the whole thing. I just won't eat dinner tonight, but I have to have this. <laughs> I'm just going to have this and then we can move on to the last few things. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to try the Reese's Crispy Crunchy Bar. Chocolate, peanut butter, crispy peanut candy, and peanuts. Don't know why peanuts is written so many times. <laughs> Chocolate, peanut butter, crispy peanut butter, candy, and peanuts. Okay, peanut, peanut, peanut. <laughs> we get it. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Mmm. 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 Understandably so. It is very peanutty. Mmm. <laughs> I like it because it's really, really crunchy. Mmm. I like it. I like the fact that kind of there's the wafer, a bunch of peanut butter and whatever, but uh, the treat is the peanut candy, peanut butter candy. That's crunch. Really, really good. I think this is a 10. This is a 10. I've had Reese's peanut butter cups, that's why I got this instead of just the plain Reese's peanut butter cups, but uh, this is even better. I really love that crunch. Last thing, finally, because I thought this would be a treat to get to try all these candies, but honestly, it's a bit much. <laughs> so thankfully I'm ending it with a savory note. Exactly the opposite of people usually do. People usually have the savory stuff and then end with the sweet, but I like, I like my crisps. Again, I'm not really like my curves and extra, and extra weight is not from candy and crisps. I just, love food and eat a lot of it but 
<laughs> if I had to choose, I choose the crisps. So let's see what this TGI Fridays is about. I really like TGI Friday. I used to go when we were in uh, London, when we lived in London for a while, and uh, I think went once when we were in America as well. So I'm excited to try this. So let's open. Let's open this bad boy. <laughs> Okay, so this says it is 150 calories per serving. Now, this is not a whole serving, this is four servings. It says about 20 chips would be one serving. So, also they're thicker cut, that's why it's potato skins probably. They're thicker cut than like regular chips, but let's see what they taste like. Now, please bear in mind that I have a bit of um, an issue with sounds. <laughs> so, even with myself eating crisps. Hopefully I managed to do this without being too noisy because I won't be able to edit it without cringing otherwise. Mmm. <laughs> this is really good. I'm sorry I'm laughing, but I had like a taste of everything and then when it came to this I just wouldn't stop and my husband is looking at me from the side like and Leon is looking at me from in front of me and he's like and <laughs> this is really really good, another 10 for sure I really really love it, I love the bacon taste I just love it it's cheddar and bacon naturally and artificially flavored so so, I hope you guys like this video and go watch the rest of my Vlogtober series. I'm posting one every day, so you'll like something that I post for sure. And yeah, please like, subscribe, check it out, and see you tomorrow. Bye!